It's been a long week, but Friday is here. And you know what that means, Freebie Fridays. That's right, it's your chance to get the best of our plays for this upcoming weekend in college football and the Premier League. So before we start, just a reminder, hit that subscribe button. We also give out five NFL picks every Sunday. You're going to want to make sure you get that. We went 4-1 this past Sunday in our NFL, and it was a great week of our member plays. So jump on the train, hit the subscribe button, so you don't miss out on any of our free plays. But without further ado, let's get in to our top three plays of this weekend. And the first play is going to be tonight, and that is going to be in the UAB and the Louisiana Ragin' Cajuns. Yeah, in the Sun Belt. It's a great league to follow. There's a lot of action, as we expect in this game as well. UAB's actually 3-1. and one. Their only loss is to the University of Miami. It's a pretty tough team to lose to, so they're having a great season so far. The Raging Cajuns, on the other hand, are also 3-1. and win. They had a huge upset against Iowa State in their first game of the season, but unfortunately has kind of trended downward since then. Uh, UAB is averaging about 33 points a game in their three wins, and they are putting their 21-game home winning streak on the line tonight. Now, this defense, though, allows 185 yards rushing. Uh, that's something that Louisiana is going to look to take advantage of, especially with their running back averaging 185 yards per game than himself. So, how do we find this game? What are we looking at? Well, I look at the UAB passing defense. They're only allowing 4.8 yards per pass. That is amazing. It's the best in the FBS right now. Uh, Bryson Lucero, the quarterback of Louisiana, is actually a freshman. He's only completing about 57% of his passes. And uh, I don't understand the line here. They actually have Louisiana minus 3. We're going to take the points. We think UAB gets their 22nd game in a row at home for the win. And uh, we're going to take them plus three. And that's going to be a two-unit play. So once again, UAB plus three over the Raging Cajuns. So that brings us into our Saturday play of the weekend. And it's an actual uh, early evening game. Kind of a weird start time, 530 Eastern. And it's a matchup between your West Virginia Mountaineers and your Texas Tech Red Raiders. West Virginia is having a great season. They're three and one. Uh, they are scoring about 33 and a half points per game. On the flip side, Texas Tech is one and three. They are coming off three straight losses after beating UConn to open up the season. That one win is not much to talk about. Uh, and they go up against the West Virginia Mountaineers uh, defense, which is number one in the country right now. It is a hard defense to crack. They just came off a win against Kansas. The only reason Kansas scored 13 points was a uh, kick return, basically as time expired in the game, to give them another touchdown. Now, ironically, we had over that game and the over hit on that touchdown, so uh, it was kind of a lucky win, but a win nonetheless, and that ended up being quite a bit of points for a game that had a point spread in the low 40s. This game, uh, with both teams actually averaging over 30 points, 33 and a half to West Virginia, Texas Tech at 30.3, that should be a higher total than the 54 and a half that is there. And a lot has to do with the defense that West Virginia brings to the party. Now, the one thing here uh, that we're gonna look at is yardage. And both of these teams combine for an average of almost 900 yards of uh, passing and rushing in their games. So if you take their offenses, uh, put it together, 900 yards, the defenses are going to have a lot on their hands. And even though West Virginia is the best defense in the nation right now, uh, we like this game against West Virginia and Texas Tech to go over 54 and a half. I'm going to be honest with you. Uh, the Texas Tech Red Raiders are going to pass. They're going to get the ball a lot because West Virginia is going to score a lot and be up in this game. I expect it to be a 35-31 kind of type of game, even maybe in the 40s for both teams. If you remember a couple weeks ago, Texas Tech played Texas, and it was, I think, 66-61. to So we know Texas Tech gives up points and can put up points. 
So again, look for over 54 and a half in this matchup. And finally, what would a freebie Friday weekend be without our friends at Very Biased Opinions? That's right. Ian and Thomas are having a great time this season over at Very Biased Opinions. Their link is below. Make sure you click over and subscribe to their YouTube channel. They do a fabulous job covering an array of leagues, now including Champions League, which just kicked off. But on Sunday, we have a Premiership uh, matchup in the English uh, Premier League, and we're going to look at Southampton and Everton. These guys have, I think, won five in a row um, on Freebie Fridays. They've been dominating, and this game is going to be over two and a half slash three. It is an Asian handicap. If you can get them at two and a half, that's great. You're going to probably pay a lot of juice uh, for that price point. Even three, they like it over three as well. Um, there's a lot behind this. Now, Southampton is coming off a hard-fought tie against Chelsea. Uh, it was 3-3. Those of you that watched that game, it was unreal. I think it was 3-0 Chelsea with like 80 minutes left, and Southampton just decided that they were going to uh, ruin Chelsea's party. As a Chelsea fan, we're kind of used to that. Uh, on the flip side, Everton played very well against a Liverpool game, uh, Liverpool squad, sorry, uh, and it was a 2-2 draw. Um, that's hard to do. Liverpool is the uh, reigning uh, champions in the Premiership, and I got to tell you, I'm pretty impressed with their uh, draw there. Now, um, when it comes down to it, our guys over at Very Biased Opinions uh, think that, well, number one, uh, English Premier League has had the most goals this season since 1960-61. That tidbit they gave me, uh, that's some good knowledge. But also, both of these teams uh, play pretty wide open, and they have top scores. Um, I think Levitt uh, on Everton is just a goal machine. Um, Ian over at Very Vice Opinions would tell you that he's pretty impressed with Luca Dean when he came into the um, Premiership League. He uh, just did not... Uh, looked like he was going to come into anything, uh, but he's really tr uh, shown his true colors lately, and uh, we'll look for him to get going again this week as well. So, uh, Southampton, Everton, over two and a half, three. That's an Asian handicap, so if, you hit, if it hits three, you're going to win half your bet. Um, but we think it's going to go well over three. I think their predictions were four to two and a three, three draw. Um, that's a lot of goals. That's six goals they're thinking in this game. So let's follow those boys yet again and take one home. Uh, and that's all our plays for this weekend. Let's just take a quick minute to recap. So we have on, uh, Friday tonight, UAB plus three over the Ragin' Cajuns of Louisiana. Tomorrow, in an early evening start time, we have West Virginia, Texas Tech Red Raiders over 54 and a half. That's going to be a high-scoring affair. And lastly, we have Southampton and Everton over two and a half or three on the Asian Handicap, courtesy of our friends at Very Biased Opinions. That's all we have for this weekend. We hope you win all those bets. And remember, sit back. Relax, let us do the work while you do the winning.